very likely have a stainless steel appliance or product somewhere in your home. And as durable as it is, it still needs to be looked after. Luckily, it's not high maintenance at all. If you're purchasing stainless steel now, it's going to be the same sink in 30 years' time if you look after it and, and treat it like it should be. Here are some do's and don'ts when it comes to stainless steel maintenance at home, mainly for your kitchen sink. Part of the don'ts is not to use abrasive products like your powder cleaners. If you look at your steel wool that you clean your kitchen sink uh, pots with, uh, it's not good to leave that on the surface of the kitchen sink after uh, using it. Obviously, you can clean your products with it, but don't leave it on the surface afterwards because it's a different chemical to the stainless steel, so it reacts and it leaves rust marks on it. Underneath your kitchen sink, is an area where a lot of us store chemicals and things like that. As a kitchen sink gets used, your boiling water is in to clean your dishes, and then you may either defrost things and you leave it in your kitchen sink. So that forms condensation. If you take a glass of water and you have ice cold water, it'll have condensation on the outside. So condensation is the same in your kitchen sink, except it's on the inside of your cabinet. So if there's any chemicals in your cabinet, that will attach to the water uh, molecules that are formed under the sink and it will cause rust to the surface. Whatever s uh, chemicals you store in your cabinet will sit on those water drops and that will re cause a reaction to the product. If you're washing up your kitchen um, appliances or dishes or pots, there's always a residue left after that um, cleaning of that product. So there's a buildup of oil or fat or whatever it is. So after you've drained your bowl, just rinse your bowl out, take a cloth, clean the surface and dry that off because your product won't need to be cleaned after that. You won't need to have to scrub the surface or anything like that because it, with regular maintenance and daily cleaning, and looking after your sink, you won't have issues like that. So it's good to, to do that every time you, you've cleaned your dishes, just to rinse, or wipe the bowl out afterwards and then to dry that off after that. And what if, for some reason, you've neglected your sink for a while and it's formed rust marks over time? Here's how Frankie's Enox Cream can help. A non-abrasive stainless steel cleaner that removes stains and rust, leaving your sink shiny and polished. So this sink is uh, a proper example of something that's not cleaned and maintained often. So if you see the surface, you'll see some uh, surface rust marks here and uh, spots that have just been left over the time and not maintained. Okay, so now I'm going to hand over to Julian, who's one of our sales representatives, and he's going to clean the kitchen sink for us. So I'm not able to do it due to an injury. So over to Julian. Remember, routine maintenance is always better than cure. But if it gets to that point, we have you covered. You can also use this cream for stainless steel door or cupboard handles, hinges, dish racks and more. Visit Galmar in-store or browse online.